Hey everyone, and let's talk about how to turn on Wi-Fi on the Apple Watch. As you know, if you swipe up, there is this Wi-Fi toggle, but it's kind of tricky because if you turn off, nothing really happens. If you turn on, also there isn't anything noticeable going on. Well, the way it works, the way the Apple Watch works, is that it only uses Wi-Fi when necessary. In the best scenario, it uses the internet from the iPhone, which is paired to. So, of course, if you are nearby, within the range, you can see that the iPhone is here, so we are connected. That means that it can use it freely and we don't need to rely on Wi-Fi or anything like that. However, actually turn off this device, you can see I power it off, and if I wait just a bit, the iPhone is going to be turned off and the Apple Watch is going to recognize that the iPhone is not there. Well, you can see that we are disconnected. And now it has to rely on Wi-Fi. You can see it switched back to Wi-Fi. And this is basically how it works. It now only uses the internet through the Wi-Fi only. In order to customize it, you can hold down on the icon and you can see the Wi-Fi is turned on. You can see the, the network I'm connected to. But you can choose a different one from those that are available, of course. So you go about this the regular way. You can type in the password when you are required. You can tap a different one. You can tap the existing one. Like you can forget it. You can auto join. I mean, there are plenty of options and things to customize. Right now, the uh, iPhone is turned off and it doesn't do anything, but we has still have internet connection. So if I just go like, uh, what's the weather like today in New York City? The Apple Watch is going to give me the answer. It's currently partly cloudy. Yeah. 20 degrees of course, York. I mean, uh, it just uses uh, the Wi-Fi as a connection. It doesn't need uh, the iPhone. Of course, you have a separate section for it in uh, the settings right on uh, the watch. So if you go there and navigate here to Wi-Fi, so we have the section here, but it's pretty much the very same thing that we just accessed before. If when we held, uh, when we are holding down on uh, the Wi-Fi icon in the control center, so no difference here, and it's exactly the same thing. If I turn off the Wi-Fi, however, you can see that uh, if I come back to the home screen and to the control center, I mean, you can already see right away that we don't have anything. We don't have iPhone. We don't have any connection. So. Right now, whatever I do, it just doesn't do anything. Siri is not available. The SIM card, it doesn't have any, although it's a cellular version, it doesn't have any SIM card installed, so we don't have any internet connection. However, you can keep this Wi-Fi turned off. Once I come back and fire up my iPhone and after I wait just a little bit, so now the iPhone is turned on once again. We have the airplane mode going on here, but once we connect to the internet, of course, the icon here disappeared. And it doesn't matter if we use a Wi-Fi or a cellular on the iPhone, the Apple Watch relies on it. So right now you can see the Siri actually works, but if we come back and take a look at here, it doesn't have the Wi-Fi turn on. So this is how you can operate. Pretty much that this time was only for the case when you don't have your iPhone nearby. So Hope this hope this video helped you out and if you did you can leave a thumbs up subscribe to Foxtag for more informational videos like this one and if it really did help you can also leave a comment and I will probably reply to you thanks a lot for watching and see you guys later